Yeah, so so we're we're live right now, man. So so you guys are still getting snow over there, huh? Is it another storm coming in or just the regular regular winter stuff? No, let's so hope we've had enough of this, Franco. <laughs> <laughs> I mean I was down in Florida, you know, January first to the fifteenth. Then I come back to like two, three foot of snow up here, so I've had enough of it. <laughs> Listen, oh man, I, I put saw, outside right now. I saw a post the other day, and it had a, a beautiful little sunflower or something like that. Some some petite, <laughs> and, and it, the caption on, and it was somebody's cover page on their Facebook, and the caption said, "So ready for spring." <laughs> yeah. I love summer, man. Bring summer on. <laughs> or Jersey or some. Hey man, we we haven't caught up actually for for a couple of years. We we Skype each other off and on, man. But uh, but yeah, we haven't caught up with each other. But it's so funny right now. You were saying um, that mm -hmm. I've actually been doing business and we've known each other longer than even when I found when I met Joe Schroeder, and and that is crazy, man. You remember back back in the day where you you used to be my my lead vendor of redirect leads. Back in the day, sure do, yeah, I sure yeah. do, man. <laughs> how how cool is that, man? How hey, hey, Glenn, just as a bit, I'm I'm gonna tell a hilarious story that happened here just just the other day. Took me by okay. surprise, and you know all that stuff, man. But just give give us a a quick just a quick background right now. How long have you been in the traffic and in the lead generation business? Because I remember I found you guys or your company. Back in 2005, 2006, somewhere around there. But how long have you been in this deal? Well, you know, I know you've heard my story because I've been in uh, Joe Schroeder seminars. And You're a legend, <laughs> man. Every, every single time that I found a Joe Schroeder manual or course or audio or, you know, anything, it was always, you know, uh, Glenn Manger, Rick Breckenbill, Robert Blackman, you know, all these names were always in those manuals, and I, I kept seeing Glenn Manger, Glenn Manger, like you were his right-hand man. And so to me, man, I was starstruck when I finally started doing business with you and buying traffic and, and leads from you, man. But that's uh, that that's what I remember. But, yeah, tell us a little bit about your history, and, and, and then we'll get into the, the hilarious story here coming up. Sure, sure, Franco. I um, hope I'm coming in nice and clear here. You are, man. But anyhow, yeah, I mean, my story is, uh, and I've told it at, you know, at Joe's seminars, uh, I had a move in the storage business for 22 years. That's where I started, and that's how I met a guy by the name of Joe Schroeder, and I sponsored Joe. I was one of the first guys to sponsor Joe Schroeder back in 1985. You sponsored so, Joe? I sponsored, I was okay. sponsored okay. Joe in a program called Phoenix International okay. back in 1985. And Joe always talks about it, but it's funny. I mean, he, Joe did his firewalk at my house. So me and Joe have been good friends for a long, long time. But my story pretty much is, is uh, you know, jokes started coming down in my, you know, my office when I had my big moving storage business. We did work for the New York Giants back then. And Joe would come in and say, hey, Glenn, uh, you know, hey, you know, you're killing yourself. You're here at 6 in the morning to 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock at night. And I saw another way, Frank. Oh, I saw another way from Joe. You know, Joe was making all this money. I mean, Joe did the work. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. You know, the man worked a lot of hours, but he was making a lot of money. So to give you my background, I I uh, saw my move into storage business. I did get work. I did get involved in a work from home business, going back in the '80s, and I was able to uh, go full time in 2001. You know, Franco, I sold my business in 2001. And I got involved with a company called Big Action Media. Yeah. And I pretty much was vice president, you know, of sales with the company. And that's where me and you started doing business together. You know, that's where you were a lot of people. I mean, Big Action Media was probably one of the big produ one of the biggest producers at the time. Um, you know, for you know, for all types of leads. You know, uh, you know, back then, you know, movie leads were just a new thing. You know, what it's funny because with our business, that's what people get movie leads. You know, we redirect the people. And they see a movie, so it's a presentation. The big thing back then was that you had to pay good money for that. So anyway, so about in 2001, I um, I was able to retire and go full time, and that's when I moved to Big Action Media. And I just started learning a lot about lead generation, about leads. Uh, we started doing campaigns. Um, you know, we put the our uh, our list building system up. I had people like you in it. You know, people like Joe Schroeder using it. You know, a lot of the big you know. Uh, testimonies that we have on our page 
guys that aren't even in the industry no more. Um, you know, Jesus Mejia. Now, those that have been in a while will know that Jesus was one of the biggest guys back in the day. Yeah. Uh, you know, and he and he was using our system. Um, so many guys, you know, over the years, and it's funny because a lot of the, some of these guys came back to me when they saw our, our list building system. And Franco, you've fire. used it for I, quite I, a while. Yeah, man. I think, and I have a screen capture, and I want to share the story first so people kind of can put two and two together of why we're on today because it's hilarious, man. But uh, <laughs> you know, the the reason why I've I've been working with you guys for so long. Um, is because you're you're one of the only guys. Literally anybody can sell you traffic and leads, right? And usually everybody does, right? Everybody just sells you the data, and and then you have to you have to run around and figure out what how to use the data. And and a lot of people don't know how to do that. You know, they get they get pumped up about buying traffic and buying leads, but they don't know what to do with it. What I saw with you guys from the very beginning is. Um, you you actually work the data for your customer first at the same time. So it, it wasn't that I was sure. I was going other places and buying traffic into my own funnels. I would, oh, let me uh, let me do this real quick. And, then, you know, I was buying traffic to my own funnels from, from all over the place, and I was posting my own ads out there on the Internet and generating my own leads from all over the place. And that's where people mm -hmm. get hanged. They get hung up on, you know, just doing one thing and this thing is good, this thing is bad, not trying a lot of other stuff. But all the while, every every time, whatever I was doing in my marketing business, I always had your lead system working for me because you not only sold me the traffic or the leads, but you had a system that drip, drip, dripped on them emails. And at the same time, I have all the data. So am I, if I'm a phone guy... I, I can get on the phone and call them. Back in the day, that's exactly what I was doing. I was letting mm -hmm. you generate the lead for me, put it into the autoresponder for me. Your emails hit them right every two or three days or whatever. It was a drip campaign through multiple autoresponders. But at the same time, I can go every single day and broadcast my own message, inviting people to conference calls or trainings, always something free, always some educational stuff. And... Uh, so anyway, yeah, that, that was the story, man. I, I liked working with you guys because I had all the data, and you were working that data, massaging it and emailing it and drip, drip, dripping on it for me if I was busy doing other things. But I still had the option to come in, do my own broadcast, and phone them or send a postcard to them or contact them. You know, when, when you're in this business and you know you're, you're in the lead generation list building business and you're in the sales business, you're going to do what, whatever you need to do to connect with prospects and to generate leads. And, and a lot of people these days, they've gotten a little lazy because they believe the pie in the sky stuff on the Internet that for some reason they believe a website is, is just going to do completely everything for their business. <laughs> the fact true. is most people that buy, you know, when, when they start buying, when they start really investing in themselves and getting serious about stuff, Everybody wants to contact me about something, whether it's a Facebook chat, an email, a personal phone call, but, but they need that contact. So it's funny to me that a lot of times people that needed this contact to, to buy something, all of a sudden they want everything to just happen automatically for them. And, and that's why I've always appreciated you guys because you guys were actually working the data for me. And that was a lot more than a lot of other traffic people do out there. But here's a story, man. This is, this is going to be hilarious because I, I, I've told it to you just briefly. Uh, it happened a couple of days ago. It took me by surprise. It, it's just funny as all hell. And, and if, if Mike is on here, this is probably the very first time he's going <laughs> to so check this out. So, you know, last couple of years, all of a sudden, all kinds of other people um, that are you know, mainly new guys that, that buy a script, right? They buy some little script, they put a little database thing on it, a little PMP, uh, PHP stuff, and they create a little comp plan, and anybody, right, any 15-year-old can code a deal, right, an offer for whatever, a biz op or leads or travel, whatever they want to sell. And usually those guys... What they've been doing lately, the past couple of years, is they've been taking, like, they create a fake testimonial, and they take your image, a picture, or whatever, and they pop it on their site. And then all of a sudden, you know, when you're in the industry, you know, the Internet is massive, right? But, but we operate in a small town. So I start getting emails all over the place on Facebook about, hey, you know, this guy has your testimonial. 
on this website. Can you believe that? What do you think of it? Did you know? Are you involved? You know, do you endorse it? Are you using it? And usually, 99.9% .9 of the time, usually the answer is no, right? And so it's just gotten to the point where now they're even using your picture and your image and everything on Facebook ads. So now you're plastered all over Facebook like you're endorsing something. And when you get to it, you're like, what the hell is this? I've, I've never heard of this thing. So anyway, two or three days ago, my list, you, you guys, like, exploded out of nowhere. You Now, we haven't contacted each other personally like this in about, I want to say, in about a year, off and on on Skype real quick with a quick question. Yeah. But, but real communication, more than a year, right? Yeah, I'd say so. All right. So, and you've had, but you've had your account, Franco, for how many years now? Oh, since guess, 2006. And that's when, and that's, <laughs> I mean, and that's at least when, I think that. you gave me the testimonial. Yeah, and I gave you the testimonial. And I remember, this is in the God's honest truth. 2009? Yep. This is the God's honest truth. Yeah. <laughs> I remember I told you, Glenn, um, we've, been, we've been doing business together since 2005, 2006. Whatever you got going, whenever you create a new, a new look for your website or whatever, you have permission to use my testimonial, right? And that was like way back in the day. And we've been doing it. Every time you freshen up your websites or whatever, there's mm -hmm. my testimony because it's the same service. Now, here's the funny thing. Here's what happened. So I start getting all these messages just two days ago. You guys literally, now it's, it's your fault, Glenn, because you didn't give me an update. And you, <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't let me know what the heck you were doing. It's hard to get a hold of Franco. <laughs> uh, tell, tell me. So, so it's, all, it's all your fault. <laughs> but here's what happened. So I start getting hit, and they're like, hey, what's this M&G thing? What's this M&G thing? And I'm like, what M&G thing? It's like, like you know, macaroni and cheese, you know, mac and cheese. <laughs> What are you talking about? Because I'm busy building my business, right? But I'm running your traffic all the time. Uh, and I didn't put two and two together, so they shot me over this website. And I look at this M&G website, and I start listening to a voice. I'm like, does that sound familiar? No, I don't really know that guy. Who, you know, and, and you were invisible in the whole process, right? I didn't see you for a while. And so I assumed, I was like, oh, man, here we go again. And I get all hot-headed, you know. And I'm like, I'm going to do a video review. So I actually did a scathing video review. You know, can you believe this, people? And they're probably newbies, and they don't know what they're doing, and I can't stand it. It's illegal, and it's unethical, and da, 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 you know, all this stuff. And I start, man, going and blowing for about 20 minutes on a video. And I put the video on Facebook, and here's how crazy uh, the universe is. For whatever reason, it might have been my language. I got a little colorful. It might have been the wording on the description of the video. But I come back because people started asking me, and I did a, a negative deal. I don't know these people. I haven't never heard of them. If you're going to get ripped off by them, that's your fault. Yeah, they, you know, <laughs> I, I just I went off on you guys, man. <laughs> and I had no clue, right? So then... Um, I go and do whatever I'm doing, and then I come back, and people are messaging me, hey, where'd, where'd that video go? Where'd that video go? And so I go to my Facebook, and for whatever reason, Facebook puts me in jail. They tie me out or whatever. I couldn't do comments. I didn't, couldn't do a couple of functions, and then that video was gone. I don't know if it was the language. I don't know what what it was or, or just coincidence or whatever, but the video was gone, and I was like, hey, what happened? Are they, did, did these guys flag me or whatever? And you know, <laughs> and I get even more, you know, irritated. Like, what's going on? My video was taken down. I'm going to re-upload it to the 25 YouTube account. You know, so so then I start doing a little research. And I'm like, well, let me go check out what this thing actually is. And and my 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 friends, buddies on my list, they start sending me. You know, it's it's amazingly fast social media, man. Because then I start getting. Um, video links you know hey here's the owners they're doing some training on a YouTube video it's a hangout and I go really oh let me see who these characters are and boom I click on the link and it's a hangout and I about dropped my pants man I about you know fell off my chair it was like oh man that's Glenn <laughs> that's Glenn why didn't you tell me you were doing something and, and then so I go through the funnel and I'm like, well, what is this? Is this a new service, something completely new? Because then I, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't know what the heck's going on with it. I don't know what I feel about it. You know? So, so I get into the actual service, and let me show you guys what it was. It's the identical. It's the same lead and emailer that I've been using from Glenn 
for a long time. And so I'm going to go really quick. Now, how do you think of the story? I'm going to go on screen capture and just show my screen real quick. But what do you think of, of that story, man? Is that hilarious or is that hilarious? <laughs> Yeah, Franco, it, it it was shocking to me too, my my good friend. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Did you but I can understand how it could happen. I mean, you you've you've already you know was on the system. You grandfathered into our system, so. Did you actually see the video? Did you catch it? No, I didn't, man. I didn't see it. Oh man, oh, I, you know what? I have the original video, so I'm going to do a spoof. And I'll have <laughs> something so you can watch it because I tore you a couple new pages, man. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second. So here's my blog. Can you see this on your screen too, Glenn? Wait me one second. Yeah, go ahead. I see it. Yep. Yep. Because right, yep. I want to, I want to show people exactly that I've been a customer of yours for for so long. And the thing is, you know, in in the different offers that I've been promoting, every single month. And I'm not going to tell you I, I generate like a million sales into my big ticket stuff or, or my MLM, whatever I'm doing from your stuff. But every single month, here it is right here, every single month. You must build a list. Yeah. yeah, every single month this system generates leads for me. So I just want to show you guys that the system that I've been using before I got its, its new little plastic surgery facelift, it looks all beautiful and they beefed up the comp plan and all stuff, but the, the actual service of traffic and leads and automatic emailer, it's, it's been this for me. I've been on this system how long, how long, Glenn, have I been on my total success one. Gosh, I got to look back, Frank. It's got to be, I know, 2006, and it could even be before that a little bit. Yeah, man, I've, I've been your customer for a long time. Yeah, I'm going to click on this just so that people know what what it looked like. This is what, let me pause it real quick, too, because this video is going to play. Very well. Uh, Hold on one second. Oh, that's horrible. That's why I hate that site. <laughs> 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 well, I tell you, right, Mike. That's that's what got you confused because my partner Mike made our site beautiful. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm gonna tell you, man. That's what Mike does, though. The new yeah. look, the new look to the offer is like night and day. But I tell you, every single time that I actually explained this to people, they would buy it. Right, every single time. But but yeah, you needed a new presentation, man. It's it's a little heavy, you know. It's a little heavy on the eye right there. And we can tell you're you're not an Oscar-winning designer or what. <laughs> you you provide a service. No, man. But no, then, my background, like you said, hey, Franco, you got it right. It was leads and lead generation, not uh, not web design. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. And just to show people, these are the the active leads, new leads today. The active leads in another autoresponder, 3,500. Their pending leads, 694,372. So you can see I've been using his system. Look at all these days I can download my leads here. There's the third, the second, there's February. I, I, this is the pretty much the exact same product service that you're getting with MNG Home Business. Come to find out, I came, I found out late. Nobody sent me a memo. But at the end of the day, when I did my research, I've already been a customer of the service. I just had no idea that they were rebranding it to look like this. But I'm, all, I'm already a customer of this service, and here's all my leads. And I'll tell you what, this is what I love. Personally, I've been using this for years. You guys are just seeing it because of this you know, new launch or whatever. It's running all over Facebook. So I wanted to make this second interview with Glenn, the owner uh, one of the partners, right? One of the co-founders of M&G Home Business, Michael Flores, yeah. your other partner and stuff. But I just wanted to clear the air and not only let people know it was a hilarious story that, that I went off on you guys before I realized what it was, but not only, not only do I endorse it, not only have I already been recommending it uh, for anyone on my list, anybody that's interested in generating autopilot email marketing traffic that you can follow up with daily, with a broadcast and phone them, send postcards to them. It's just leads. You need leads. You know, so even if you're out there trying to generate your own leads or prospecting people on Facebook or online, offline, postcards, whatever you're doing, I've always felt it was just common sense because I run a business. I don't run a hobby. I run a business. It always made sense to me to have something in the background at least dripping on humans that may potentially click on a link in an email 
and uh, and get to my offer and opt into my capture page or review a conference call, watch a hangout, and and have some questions. They reply to an email, and then I connect with them and I generate sales every single month. I've generated sales and opt-ins to my private list from this service because it, it it's just there. It's a, a little workhorse. And so this is what it looks like on the inside. I have 1,760 new leads today. I have 3,501 active leads in the other autoresponder, uh, a boatload of pending leads, and these are all the downloads. Let me show you guys. This is, they gave it plastic surgery. Michael Flores, I guess, came in here, and he's a plastic surgeon of websites. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys did beef up the comp plan, though, right? You were paying like in the other offer, it was like thirty percent down a couple. Yeah, of tools. yeah, this, this, yeah, this is a lot better. Uh, pay plan, you know, pay plan wise, looks wise, everything, uh, Franco, definitely. Yeah, it, it's awesome, man. So what, what I wanted to let people know is my rant the other day came before I actually found out that it's my buddy Glenn. <laughs> so yeah, so anyway. Good stuff, man. But here's here's the look of the page. It's uh it's 100% customizable. You you pop in your link in a box as you set the system up. Whatever you're building, if you're just building your list and you do your own offers, your own info products, your own ClickBank offers or whatever, you just what or if you're in an MLM or a direct selling thing or whatever you're doing, it gives you a box and it asks you, okay, we're going to set the system up. We're going to inject leads into it, and we are going to mail a generic uh, you know, make money from home, get some information on making money from home emails. They're emailing. The system is sending out emails periodically to the leads that you're buying. So you're buying both the, the emailing service and the leads. And, and then in a box, you put in there, when they click on a link in an email, where do you want them to go? Do you want to build your own list? Do you want to send them to a presentation? Which offer do you want to send them to? You can always come back and change that. I've been working with, with this system, like I said, for a few years. I know it like the back of my hand. I know its strengths. I know what it does. I know the expectation. It's not pie in the sky. It's a steady drip of traffic of human beings receiving emails. Every single time somebody joins me in anything or, or buys anything that I'm selling, I always ask them, because, you know, in these days, Glenn, no matter what they're buying, they're, they're always going to find you on Facebook or shoot you an email and say, hey, I just bought this from you or I'm on your team. You know, what do I do next? Do you have any tutorials? Do you have any training? You know, so I always connect with my buyers and I always ask them, hey, listen, where did you find me from? What, what was the very first piece of information you saw that led you to me? And, and most of the time, it was uncanny. People were telling me, well, you know, I really don't know. I just started getting your emails. And everybody that knows Internet marketing <laughs> understands that yeah. you just don't start receiving emails. There has to be a cause and effect. And so when, when they tell me that they have absolutely no clue, they never saw my blog, they didn't see me on Facebook and opt into anything, they just started receiving my emails with my name on it then I know absolutely without a doubt I go I look in here I look in my service for my leads and without a doubt they came from there because the lead is generated from some other kind of advertising that Glenn does and then the data comes in and they've opted in to receive information watch a movie or whatever anyway but it gets placed into your autoresponder so now the emails and follow-up they start coming with your name on them you know, hey, click here, and my name is Franco. Go find me on Facebook, right? So that's where I would always see, and I'm telling you, I'm in a program where we have some stuff that's a $1,000 commission and higher or lower or whatever, and a lot of the people that would join me that originally found me because they were a lead in this system, they, they're upgrades, and I'm earning big ticket. I'm earning MLM commissions and big ticket commissions. Sometimes they already have a program that they love, so one of the tips I would give people, if you're gonna if you're gonna use this kind of traffic, it's okay to be a program Nazi and have your favorite program and just run that thing, right? But I'm telling you, if you want to make the most dollars for your effort and your investment in any kind of traffic, if you're using this kind of traffic, let me come off of uh, let me come off of the screen share just for a second and just give you guys this this tip because it really works for for me the way I conduct my business. Um, this really works for me. Here, here's the deal. See, I know that I'm generating traffic from all kinds of areas. Some are very specific to certain offers, 
but others are truly very universal, very generic. It's just generic traffic coming in. And, and so I learned through the years, at first I was like many of you. I was not converting something. Right, so I'd go back to Big Action Media, and this is where I learned this stuff because it was I've been working with these guys since 2005. So I'd go to Big Action Media, right? I'd call Glenn. Glenn always picked up the phone or got back to me, and I'm Glenn, man. Hey, this new batch of leads—they're just not buying anything. You know, is the the lead source the quality's bad? The service is bad? Are you guys a scam all of a sudden? You know what's going on? Is this program junk that I'm selling? And Glenn was the one that taught me how to work leads. He told me, look. Don't be a newbie. I know you want to sell X program. I know that you're in love with ABC.com deal that you're selling. But these people are asking for information and they saw a movie that motivated them enough to opt in. So do you have any generic information? Do you have any offers that are universal? A lot of these people might already have one or two or three programs that they're trying to build. Why don't you position yourself as somebody that can that can either train them on basic skills or that can lead them to good training. If you have anything free you can offer like that, anything that you can create, any conference call, any, and so that way back in the day, about 10 years ago, mm -hmm. is when I restructured my entire business. And on the front end for this cold traffic, I became a guy that can teach you the basics. Hey, you want to learn how making money on the internet really works? You want to know how to marry internet marketing and building an MLM or network marketing or whatever? I'm going to show you the basics. Click here to listen to my last training, right? Or I used to send them to my yeah. YouTube. Then it became a blog. Then it became MP3s. Then it just became everything. And, and we do like tonight. We're going to do our, our TNT, right? Tuesday night training hangout. Why? Because Glenn taught me that if I just give people what they're looking for first, and, and if I serve them, everybody else is trying to pitch and, and sales hack them, right? They're just trying to hit them over the head with their program, and if they don't buy, you know, then they, they, they just call them names and, and tell them that they're losers, and, and they send them away. And then they say, oh, that Glenn Manger, he sells junk traffic. This stuff doesn't convert. Well, it may not convert if you're being a sales hack about it, but here's how I do it this particular traffic comes in, they're already on my list in this autoresponder. So I, the other thing I learned too, th this is just a very uh, nuanced, sublime thing about this specific service. And here's what I learned. Guys, they already went through a capture page, okay? And they're sitting inside of your autoresponder. The fact that it was not your pretty, beautiful, attraction marketing branded capture page uh, doesn't matter. They're in my autoresponder. I just showed it to you right now on the screen. I can go in there every day and I could broadcast an email. So the second lesson Glenn taught me was don't make them jump through so many hoops because every, remember, uh, remember Glenn, I, I would be sending them to, to capture pages all the time, over and over and over, and that's pretty cool. But, but sometimes people are just tired of capture pages. They mm -hmm. already opted in why not send them to a recording of your last night's training conference call or your last night's training hangout? Just send them to the information. They're not going to go away because yeah. they're already in your autoresponder. It just happens to be Glenn's system is your autoresponder. A lot of yeah. people think that they got to send them to a capture page to put them on their Aweber or get response, and that's okay. But l let, me, let me tell you when that happens with this kind of cold traffic. When you give them something, that's really valuable, then at the end of that or throughout that, you can say, hey, if you really want some good stuff, get on my VIP coaching list. Or if you are if you don't want to reinvent the wheel, here's another approach. If you don't want to reinvent the wheel, I can teach you the skills. You're going to have to reinvent everything, and it's cool to work, but that might be a longer learning curve. If you're okay with that, then that's fine. But if, if you don't want to reinvent the wheel, you just want to work with me, I have something that we can build together click on this link, opt in, right? I'm putting them now in, in one of my other lists where they can see a specific offer for a pro. And that's how I would move people. But here's here was my objective with this kind of cold traffic. I wanted to generate a sale in something that would give them value before we even start talking about what my primary program is. Because here's what happens. If I sell them a course, if I sell them the same service, Right? Maybe they already have some and they're just interested in, hey, how did you find me? That's oh, my automatic email marketing service, man. I get leads, I get traffic, 
it drips on you for me. You found me this way. You know it works. Here's the link. Go get it and go sell your Herbalife. You know, do better in Herbalife. Here's what happens when you serve people like that. They come back and they go, hey, Franco, you know I've, you know that deal that I told you I was madly in love with and God told me to go promote that thing, you know, seven years ago and stuff? Here, here's the deal. I'm not really in love with that thing no more and I haven't generated a sale in five years. You know, what are you doing? Is there anything we can do? What, what are you building that's working? You know, they come back to you guys. And, and so I just take a slow roll. Uh, the main objective with Glenn's type of traffic is I know they're already coming onto my list on autopilot. I just want to get them to like me. And then I want to get them to trust me enough to buy a little something from me. And now we're buddies. Now they're going to come back or they're, they're going to get around my blog, my Facebook. Everything's about follow-up, right? So I tell people, hey, you, now you're on. You went to my training. If you, if you need, any, need anything or have any questions, here's my Facebook. Here's my blog. I put a lot of free training on that. Go ahead and use whatever you can that, that you can take from me that's valuable and sell whatever you're selling. I don't mind, but if you need to reach me with questions, here's where I'm at. And I give my contact info. That's all I'm doing with this traffic, and it's building my list. So, yeah, Glenn, I, a couple of things about this Hangout, man. Let me, let yeah, me go. Franco, go if, I can, if I can comment real quick. Uh, man, you hit it right on the head. If, if you're exactly like you just said um, but you were proactive you were you know Franco was a guy who was very proactive and that's the things that have to be done you know I gave Franco a way to, to build a bridge to the people and then what Franco was doing was giving people free information you know telling people who he was tell them what he has to offer it's free 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 you know, we, me and Franco go back to the days of a guy by the name of Joe Schroeder. We used, and that's me and Franco came out to Newark, New Jersey, and I was with Franco, hanging out with Franco in live in Newark, New Jersey, many times. Right, Franco? We had some good times. Yeah. It was Joe Schroeder seminar at the time. The guy's retired now, but a great guy. But what I, I want to get back from is this is how we learned. That you, you, there you go. He's got all his courses. <laughs> but, I mean, uh, the disciplines of doership. I mean, Joe was ahead of his time, but... This is what you do. You don't call somebody up, Frank or right? You don't slam dunk them in your program. It doesn't work. You pet the person. You give them free information. And remember, it's your lead for life. So the person is back there. That's your lead, and you're going to drip on him. And Franco was very proactive. I used to see messages and emails go out all the time, inviting people to different places, telling them who he is, and that's what you have to do. And Franco, I just want to do a quick overview with our system, just probably two more minutes, yeah. and I'll get right Absolutely, back to you. Man. Take it away. It's like Franco says, we're going to have a complete platform for you, complete, for you, for everybody, okay, in the work from home business, a generic system. We're going to have leads you can buy in your back office, buyers, partial buyers. I saw buyer data all day, but you're going to have buyer data, partial buyers. Um, you're going to have opt-ins that you could buy, different different data that we're going to have available for you. Bulk autoresponder, we'll have bulk autoresponder packages, me and Mike. We'll have all of this for you. We'll have guaranteed sign-ups. And the best thing I'm going to have, guys, is like we're doing today with somebody like Franco. We're going to have guys in, that are going to tell you what it was that put them over the edge. What put them to the next level? I mean, myself, I was just... You know, starting those kid growing up, I had a moving and storage business for 22 years. There's Joe Schroeder and Dustin Bicey and some of the greats that used our system over the years. Um, so, I mean, you know, we had, you know, um, uh, you know, excuse me, as far as the greats in the industry. And if they could just tell you one little thing, one little paradigm shift in your life, what did they do that they changed? We all saw some. Everybody here on this call or seeing this right now, we're here for a reason. And our reason is is that we're not 9 to 5 Jeff or 9 to 5 Jane. Okay? We see more and we want more and we deserve more. But you don't think it's going to come that easy. You have to work for it. You're not just going to have, like Franco said, people aren't just going to go to your website and join it. Maybe some will, but some won't. But nowadays, do you realize that probably one out of every four or five people actually pick up a phone call? The rest are screening their phone calls. Same thing with email marketing. Everybody thinks they're spammed. But it's those people that opt in, those people that pick the phone up 
the process, not a slam dunk, the process that you need in place. Very important, the process. It might take one day, might take two days, might take two months. I've had people, I know Franco can, can probably agree to this, people join Franco probably two years later, three years later, six years later. Oh, all the time, man. Absolutely. That's the power of our system. It might not just be right for them, you know, at that time. But when you see we, this, our, our, our platinum package, okay, is going to be a package that I'm going to be talking to people like Franco Gonzalez. And I don't want to give a lot of names out, but the top people in the industry, that information is worth millions of dollars. Just a little bit of information that Franco got, which was from Joe Schroeder to me to Franco, turned Franco for somebody that was probably making, I'm not going to say, maybe uh I was on two or three thousand a month. Yeah, I was on two or three a month. Two or three thousand a month, and and that was you know twenty, thirty, forty thousand a month. Yeah, no, you guys. That that summer when you gave me that lesson, Glenn. Let let me just say real quick. Go ahead, Franco. Go ahead. Just to keep it very real, when when he gave me that piece of advice, and and it took me about two or three months to create some content and re revamp my whatever I would the way I was doing things and added some I started recording some audios and doing little things at a time but I tell you what with within within four or five months because everything happens for a reason another program uh, an opportunity I met some people at some seminars and I had this fresh in my head that I learned from Glenn and I started switching over to a provider of information and a trainer to anyone in any program because Joe Schroeder was telling us hey what I do is I've made myself a friend to the entire industry and I can float around all the MLMs, any of the programs, any of the training environments and I can bring some value to them so I walk around a friend to the whole industry offering free sandwiches and stuff, right? Training and information, this and that. So I started building my list and then coincidence, right? I don't believe in coincidence but then all of a sudden I meet a couple of people, we become friends, they create a marketing system and then we, we, of course, we, we promote that offer. And then all of a sudden, for the next nine months in a row, I'm at $100,000 a month within like four months of that lesson. But I, I took action on it. It's not just having a conversation and having the info and that's it and knowing it all, right? It wasn't about that at all. I, I heard a tip and I started taking action. Before I knew how it was going to materialize, I just said, this just makes sense. I got to build my list. I got to offer something of value, and and then I'll talk about my program. And then I kept making relationships and and timing and and all kinds of stuff conspire to put you in a place where you were ready to take action on an opportunity and a window of time. A win. It's always a window of time. That window of time for me became a, a cool run for nine months of six figures a month earning. And after that, you know, we've we've never gone below a six-figure industry, uh, six-figure income in this industry. And I've been full time for 13 years. But I meet a lot of people that want a constant amount of information, and they want to analyze how everything works first. And then even after going through all kinds of courses, all kinds of training, all kinds of systems, they don't take action on something because everything has to be perfect for them. And I remember another thing Joe taught me, right? Is <laughs> then you don't have to get it right. You just have to get it going. Yeah, get it you know, going. A yeah. lot of times, um, the most important thing to me, if, if I'm talking to somebody new, the most important thing is let's get the front end of your business that's going to feed you for a lifetime. Let's get the front end rolling. Let's get an offer out there. Let's get leads in there. Let's start building your list and offering them value because that, no matter what programs you plug into, that is going to feed you for life. That you own and control. If you own and control the ability to generate traffic, get leads, and serve people and give them value, then you're going to build trust. Now, the other, what vendors you plug into, what programs you want to build, you know, this and that. If one program goes down or whatever, you can unplug and replug in something else. You have to own the front of your business. You you got to own that engine. And that's what services like Glenn has done for me for years and years. Now, I, I just want to, I don't want to give you pie in the sky and a bunch of hype. Here's, this is how I've used it. It was never just buying anybody's traffic and then just kicking back thinking I was going to get rich in a couple of days, right? It's always mm -hmm. been work boots on, 
hard hat on, always analyzing how can I serve more, how can I refine my funnel, what else can I offer people, where else can I meet them on Facebook or here or there. So it's work. But if you work this kind of traffic, you don't have to wonder about, I wonder where I'm going to get my leads to begin with. They're, they're flowing through. It's how you're serving yeah. them that's going to help you. So, yeah, Glenn. Hey, also, real quick, you know, I know, I know this call today. I know this call today has helped people just hearing it right now. I know it's helping them. They heard what you had to say, and it's a paradigm shift for them. It really is. They're like, I can't believe that. I, I, I never heard anything like that before. And that's what I'm going to do, Franco. I'm going to be for, the, for our, our, our platinum package. I'm going to be interviewing people like yourself, and I'm going to help people out there. My biggest thing that I want to do, Franco, seriously, is I want to help the economy. I really do. I hear people say, okay, I'm on disability. I can't do this, or I'm on this, and I can't do that. But you can work from home. I don't care, guys. you got a computer. You can work from home. And you can make money. Why? Because you can promote any program you want to promote. Okay, but we're going to give you the tools and the packages to do it. And that's really all, really all I got to say today. Franco, it's well, been a pleasure. Awesome. It has been a real pleasure. God bless you, brother. I know you, you, Absolutely. you, you know, we've been good friends for a long time, buddy. I'm sure we're going to continue. <laughs> Absolutely, man. I, I want to thank you for the years that you've provided me with traffic, leads, insights, little training tips. And it, it's been awesome, man. And, and it's so hilarious that it comes full circle with me blasting you on a video. So let me just summarize. <laughs> a, couple of, a couple of days ago, it's Glenn's fault because he never sent me the memo that was saying he was changing his website and offering, uh, beefing up a comp plan or doing whatever. I had no idea, and we're both busy. I had no idea they were creating this thing that they're calling M and G Home Business, which I've learned. I've learned. I've been using the service for years, but I didn't know. So a couple of my guys tipped me off and like, "Hey, man, your testimonials on this M and G Home Business thing. Are you involved? What's going on? Is this your new primary deal? Do you own it? You know all this stuff." And, I, and, and so without checking anything, I just started ripping him a couple of new pages on a video going, oh, can you believe they're using my image and all this, da-da-da-da-da, without permission. And then as I researched it further, come to find out, it's Glenn, my buddy that I've been doing business with since back in 2005, 2006, and he did a little plastic surgery to a lead and traffic service that I've quietly been using. I'm not crazy out there jumping up and down promoting it. And I'll be honest with you, Glenn, this is why, man, through the years. And and this is this is really important too. Because you know, some of us are just producers. We're building a business. We like to keep this thing simple. And if people get something, they get it. You know, the, the people with the ears to hear will hear something and the rest of them don't and they just add a complication to stuff. Here's why I've always not really promoted hard traffic or lead generation or even strategies on how to create your own leads. Here's why. Because I can teach till I'm blue in the face. And a lot of times I tell people ask me, hey, how are you doing what you do? And I would tell them, it's that little ugly website over there, I use that. And that little ugly funnel I have over there, I use that. And that builds my list and I invite people to free training and then I just tell them to sign up with me and they do. That's what I do. And you know what? After all the training, all the pom-pom promotion and cheerleading stuff, they many people just don't take action. Or, you know, I'm sure you know, you, you own the service, you see the back office. A lot of people buy it, right? And then they, they have it for two days, and because they, they couldn't figure out that they misspelled their password or whatever, they, they just never use the product. It's like Tony Robbins says, right? So many people <laughs> buy my products and they never take the cellophane off, off of the package. And so after years and years of going through that, I said, you know what? Whoever mm -hmm. listens to me and does it, they're going to know. But whoever just quits on stuff, and I'm just wasting my breath. You know, so I just decided I'm just going to keep building my business and using an ugly little website and an ugly little funnel and it sells anything I'm selling all the time because I'm consistent and I'm persistent and I believe before I see material effects, I know the human condition. I know that even if it's the greatest, the mother of all leads, right, that most people are going to see an offer and then their kid starts crying or they're at work and then they forget about it and, and then an, an uncle gets sick or you know then they go to a wedding 
And then like three mm -hmm. or four months later, their boss rips them a new one and they get pissed off and then they go home and go, oh, I'm going to go back to my email. I remember there was that home business thing and traffic and leads and I'm going to do what Franco told me to do. And it could be like five months later. Why? Who cares why? Just, but I stay consistent and when the timing meets the opportunity, it's a lot of stuff going on in this little calculus, man, but you don't have to figure it out. You don't have to figure out how electricity works. All you need to know is how to flip the switch. See the switch behind me? All I need to know is how to flip the switch and then keep the light on. <laughs> you know, keep the light. <laughs> Don't right there. the light. You know, just keep it on. So anyway, Glenn, man. Hey, yeah. Story, man. And uh, I just wanted to add th those two cents because a lot of people buy a lot of things on the internet and they don't even use them. Training, mindset, systems, websites, and they bounce around with no direction because they, they don't give it time and they don't really like immerse themselves in the service and really use it. And I never said about your traffic, uh, because I bought traffic from numerous places and I came to the conclusion mm -hmm. traffic is traffic, it's about how you're working it, how much you're working the traffic, what mm -hmm. the offer is, what the message is, timing and consistency. So I never said, oh, Glenn stuff doesn't work, man, I'm, I'm done or I'm whatever, you know. I, I always said, what can I do in my business to help this traffic, to help these people see what I'm really doing? How can I communicate better? Do I hit them more, right? More emails, less emails? What do I invite them to? So uh, I'll leave you guys with that. No matter what you do, right? Uh, obviously, yes, I am a customer. I have been for almost a decade of Glenn Manger traffic leads and systems. Um, there's no guarantee that you're going to become a millionaire overnight just because you buy stuff from me or Glenn, right? But I'm going to tell you, I've been a customer for about a decade. And if that doesn't speak something, I, I don't know what else does, man. We're living in an age where programs themselves don't last but a couple of years. And here I've been buying stuff from Glenn for like 10 years. So that's, that's number one. Number two, whatever you're selling. It doesn't have to be this. You can be buying traffic from different sources. Wherever you're advertising, wherever you're getting leads, wherever you're buying traffic, whatever the broker you're using, figure out a way to convert the stuff before you quit on it. There's always a way. I know a guy, my buddy Alex Zuberoff, man, he just, you know, he's, he's just cranking and he's buying traffic from a traffic source that, quote unquote, everybody says doesn't work. You know, it, it doesn't work, and he's got a buddy in the business, and he buys traffic consistently, and he's crushing out thirty and forty thousand dollars a month in his program. And there's other people that are building MLM with this kind of stuff. There's other people that are building affiliate stuff. Guys, it works if you work it. So with that, I don't know what else I can do to to let the testimonial be real, let the endorsement be real. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, I'm not going right, to get Next time somebody has my image <laughs> on a system, I'm actually going to slow my roll, take it easy on the coffee, right, and, and figure the whole thing out before I go ripping new pages into people, and I'm a customer of them, right? So with that, it was a, a hilarious story, man. And okay, I'm going to give you guys a, a website. If you're interested in learning about the lead generation game, the traffic game, how to build your own list, let me show you. I'm going to link to it below. You're going to see a website on screen capture right now that looks like this, right? And the, the link is www.yourleadmagnet.com. www.yourleadmagnet.com. I'm not going to push you just to buy traffic and leads. I want to educate you on how I'm using them. So that's why I have people flow through a page where they pop in their email so that they, get in, they can get some free training on how I work the different kinds of traffic and leads and ads that I run all over social media and all over the internet. And part of that, when you opt in, you're going to get to a review of this service. Okay, it, It's a service, and it's a service that I – because the offer is so rich, it's, it's automated and proactive at the same time. It's passive and direct at the same time. I highly recommend that you test it. Okay, like all good marketers, you know, real estate is all about what? Location, location, location. Marketing, no matter what you're selling, 
it's always about testing, 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 and then refining your process as you test. So I'm going to invite you to test M&G Home Business and generate some leads for your business, build your list. And here's the, here's the awesome thing that I've always respected of Glenn Manger. What you, what you see on his websites, no matter how sexy it looks or how ugly it is, the other one was ugly, Glenn, but it works. <laughs> but the I know, is ugly. I agree with you. But, but let, me, let me show you guys exactly what I respect the most. I don't believe there is one Glenn Manger website out there that does not have a direct phone number and his address where you can contact him directly and he's got his Skype and he always responds and one thing that I've always respected of you Glenn is no matter who I refer into your businesses no matter who I refer to your lead store your your traffic generation um, when they tell me I always ask them if they have an issue or can't log in or don't understand how to set it up or whatever they mm -hmm. ask me and I go hey call Glenn and don't you know when I follow up a couple of days later, hey, did you did Glenn get back to you? Never once have I heard. Man, he never got back to me. You always get back to people personally. You're old school. I'm old school like that. Mm -hmm. But we use new school technology. Uh, but the customer service is always there. I respect that. I thank you for that. Man, we're going to be doing business here for the foreseeable future. Another de Let's go another decade, man. Let's go another decade, Franco. Let's do it, buddy. <laughs> Help me build numerous business programs, offers, my own coaching, Definitely. Um, this building. You really help. You have been the silent anchor, one of the many, but you have been one of the biggest silent anchors in my home business. And not just because of your leads and traffic, but because of the conversations that led me to find Joe Schroeder. Then the conversations led me to find Diane Hockman and all these relationships. And now I, I get to read Robert Blackman's post on Facebook all the time. You know, so it's it's all it's a small town community when you get around really good reputable people. And and when you get around us, here's the overarching thing you heard Glenn say. Here's what we're really all about. We want to help the little guy that's just just coming into this game. We want to help them get through their own hurdles, whatever's going on in life right now, the economy, family, business, layoffs, this and that. And we want to show them another way they can take control. And if they want to, they can take, the, they can take control of their own life and create their own income. They really can. From, from soup to nuts, beginning to the end, we can show you if that's what you want to do. And that's really our passion, allowing people to break free and see things that maybe society hadn't taught them before and we're here in our uh, t-shirts and home offices man it, you don't have to be <laughs> some, some corporate you know schmuck kinda guy um, you, real people yeah. showing people how we do things and if you want to model us then you're probably gonna see some good news and some success and that's all we want we just want to give people the opportunity to see what we've been able to discover and what you do with it, it you know you're the boss you always have been you always will be what you do with the information that we we allow you to get access to completely up to you but we're here to help you out so with that man any any final words before we sign off there Glenn Franco you said it all brother and it was a pleasure over all these years working with you and like you said let's go another 10 and hopefully another 10 after that <laughs> yeah, absolutely man <laughs> absolutely all right, brother have a good one thanks a lot man you too have a good one thank See you so much okay bye-bye